Welcome to the Art Night. I'm your host, Sean Leonard. Some people call me Shawnee, and I'm back doing the art news. Uh, we got a really good episode for you this week here in Brooklyn uh, at the Cotton Candy Machine. We have a two person show, local favorite Lori Nelson and Germany's Moki. Uh, very exciting. Lori's new oil paintings, Coming of Age, is inspired by the work, uh, by the world she lives in, striking a cinematic moment that will have a clear place in your hearts and history. Moki's portraits and scenes are painted and meticulously composed to look like different grains of wood, giving the art a special connection to nature. Uh, we are so excited to host the show. Can't wait to show you more of that. Also, in Chelsea at the Jonathan Levine Gallery. He has a show with Stefan Deutschenoff from Sao Paulo, Brazil. His show is called Three Planet Lifestyle. We're actually gonna go and we're gonna cover the show, so I'm gonna share a whole lot more of that with you next week. He is amazing. Also, here in Brooklyn at the Morbid Anatomy Museum, they have an exhibition entitled Opus Hypnogogia. Sacred Spaces of the Visionary and Vernacular. Uh, the show is composed of works from uh, Stephen Romano's esoteric personal collection, as well as works uh, sampled from the collections of his associates. And it has the inclusion of some of the most highly respected and recognized contemporary artists of our time. Artists like Chris Cooksey, they have Kimia uh, Nawabi, Martin Whitfoot, El Gato Chimney, Rithika Merchant, Caitlin McCormack, Jell Ain, Ina, Ina, Lori Field, David Molesky, Matthew Dutton, Liz Lopez, and Hunter uh, Stabler. Uh, really cool work. Uh, and, and those are all the contemporary artists. And from those permanent collections, they have these ancient artifacts. They're just beautiful. It's so cool. Uh, and this is actually also celebrating the one year anniversary of the Morbid Anatomy Museum. So congrats to you guys on that. Oh, heading all the way west uh, to Culver City, California. The Gilded Age, one of the most anticipated shows of the year uh, with Think Space. Um, they, it features new works by Aaron Horky, Esau Andrews, uh, J Joao Ruas. Um, when approached by the gallery director, he, uh, Aaron Horky was asked to describe his ideal group exhibition, and he immediately uh, said Esau Andrews and Joao Ruas uh, as choice gallery companions. All three artists share an inexhaustible penchant for detail, uh, a preference for all things ornate, and an antediluvian sensibility that tend tw tends towards allegory and myth uh, in the age of digital reign and uh, impermanent culture, the Gilded Age betrays a nostalgic yearning for the maximalism of the human hand. Very cool. Um, there's actually really great uh, studio visit coverage from Arrested Motion, Esau Andrews. Um, a lot of the pieces are still held secret, so we're excited to see all of that revealed. Congrats to you guys. Uh, also continuing their LAX exhibition series, Think Space Gallery in Los Angeles have teamed up uh, for their latest collaboration with Stolen Space Gallery in London, um, presenting LAX LHR. Uh, Stolen Space Gallery began as the home base for DeFace's work and gradually grew to share the walls with other artists now having stolen the space. Um, participating in Grand Theft, this show uh, hosts artists like Shepard Ferry, Audrey Kawasaki, Allison Summers, Andy Kehoe, Angry Wobots, Ast Astuco Goto, Beck Winnell, DeFace himself, Jeremy Hush, Jim Hauser, Cozy and Dan, Sean Mahan, So Yoon Lee, Sylvia G, London Police, uh, Kwon Kyung Yup, Kevin Peterson, Casey Weldon, Low Bros, Nosego, Yosuke Ueno, gotcha, love ya, uh, and so many more artists. Um, definitely, uh, they always put together such a great show at Think Space. Congrats to you guys, uh, very cool. All right. Uh, Let's get high. Uh, the recent Vision Art Festival held in the Swiss resort of Crans, Montana in the Canton uh, Valais. Some of the walls uh, 
where these murals were painted were 3,000 meters above sea level. After last year's test event, uh, which produced murals by Icy and Sot and Hebrew Brantley, the local community accepted the idea and the long, per, uh, the long uh, preparation for, for this festival began. So now the Vision Arts Festival is officially open, hosting an impressive lineup of international artists. Um, they got Rustim Kubik, they've got Chore Boogie, they've got Rekka One, they've got uh, Leza One, they've got Two Alas, they've got Greg Mike, Angry Wobots, Never Crew, uh, really cool, uh, even more, I know, and what an immensely beautiful place to have a mural festival. Uh, epic photos, that is incredible to see. Also, uh, in Norway, the new art festival. We covered this a little last week. Ella and Peter created the largest mural to date. That's in conjunction with this festival happening. And the founder and director, Martin Reed, says, the focus of this year's festival is once again situationism, which is, uh, which initially inspired punk and more latterly the street art and activism movements we see today. Uh, we're looking to establish where the culture of street art comes from and where it could potentially go. We want to get deeper and attach this culture to a long tradition of unsanctioned creativity on the streets so that the powers that be don't brand it as a fad as they did with uh, the graffiti movement in the 80s. Yeah, the DIY aspects of situationism, punk, graffiti, and street art are so cl closely aligned with traditions of play. And that is a big theme in the festival. And girl, it looks fun. Oh my gosh. They've got uh, Bordalo 2. They've got um, Bortusk Lear, Dalk. They've got dot, dot, dot. The great Ella and Pitter, Ernest Zakarovic, Futura, Harmon D. Hoop, um, Icy and Sot, Isaac Cordal, Jamie Reed, Martha Cooper, Martin Watson, Outings Project, P Jack, Pixel Poncho. Sandra Chevier, oh my gosh, uh, Juxtapose was there covering the, covering the show really great. They even wrote a nice little essay. And again, having Martha Cooper part of the show, uh, I don't know if you could have a better on-site uh, correspondent to have. What, what a treat, uh, really impressive. Uh, can't wait to see more of that. Um, also, setting a new world record. Again, uh, Jason DeCares recently installed Ocean Atlas in the Bahamas, uh, the sculpture commissioned by the Bahamas Reef Environment Educational Foundation. Um, it's constructed using sustainable pH neutral materials that will create an artificial reef uh, for marine life and draw tourists away from the st uh, stressed natural areas. Um, the figure itself references ancient Greek, the ancient Greek statue of Titan Atlas um, as he holds up the heavens, but instead depicts a local youth sustaining the ocean ceiling, um, weighing 60 tons and measuring over five meters high. Uh, it's the largest single sculpture ever to be inserted into an underwater landscape. Holy cow, it looks beautiful. I want to go to there. How cool. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on uh, Casual Fries Day, where you can be casual and have fries. <laughs> um, and that's all I got for you this week. Thanks so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it, guys. Please share it. I can't say it enough. Share it anywhere you can on your friend's page. Tell people about it. Uh, already, the response has been wonderful. And thank you guys so much for all the feedback. I'm loving doing it. And I can't wait to give you more soon. All right, I'll see you, I'll see you real soon. Boom. Besides how sweaty I got, I think that was cool. <laughs>